You are looking at a military lubrication and service trailer. It was once owned by the United States uh, Marine Corps. And these were pulled behind uh, trucks like this to, in the field, service all the military vehicles that uh, needed grease and oil and gear oil and stuff like that. And in here is where the units are, where the oil is kept. I've got it junked up right now, but I'm actually doing some troubleshooting. And I've installed these valves on here. They're ball valves to isolate the different uh, pumps. And one of the pumps is for gear oil, the other one's for grease, and then uh, one is for motor oil. So uh, I've got the tank pressurized, so when you turn these on, that's what you get. And the reason I put those uh, ball valves on there was just so you could uh, test each individual thing, because I'm only going to be using one of these at a time once I clean them up and fix them. Then I'll be greasing the car, you know, first and other stuff second. This is a four-cylinder air-cooled engine. You'll see them on generators and everything else, but they've adapted it for use for this uh, compressor unit that drives everything inside. And there's your control panel up here. And what I've done to get pressure in here, because I haven't started this yet, uh, I'm running my, uh, my shop compressor in here. It's a quick disconnect. And here's where it hooks in. This is a uh, uh, male-to-male lead-in hose that I've installed. And it works rather well. I just pump it up to 120 pounds and uh, everything's fine. Back here are the hoses. And you've got uh, gear lube and grease. And this one's for air. And another one for grease. So you can put two grease guns in here. And then the other one's for engine oil. And of course, in this case, I'll be using Rotella uh, 15W40 once I get this thing set up. Over here, this is a transfer pump that you put in a 55-gallon drum. If you have like a large drum of oil, you can uh, refill all of your reservoirs with that thing. And this is just some <laughs> extra stuff I threw in here. You can see on the gauge there, uh, I don't know if you can or not, but that's about 100 pounds of air right now. And that's the large compressor that... Uh, runs this thing. And then we've got the uh, 900 by 20 military tires that will actually fit on my truck and these are going to go in my truck. I'm going to put the garbage tires on this because this is where it's going to be. Very heavy duty unit, weighs about uh, almost 6,000 pounds, towed it home with my uh, CUCV and uh, had no problems at all. It's a really good towing piece of equipment and I think this has found a home.